everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to make the long-awaited and long-requested zipper stitch. Um, it is super easy. I'm a little embarrassed that people uh, asked me to make this. I didn't know this was like one of those stitches that, oh my god, I'd like let me know, like help me make this, blah, 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 blah. Um, so I'm going to show you. Obviously, you're going to need, sorry, hold on. Um, <laughs> you're going to need three Three strands of boondoggle. Um, one is going okay. Two are gonna be short. Um, literally like however long you want the project to be. These are my two short strands. They're the same length as my forearm. Um, my project is not gonna be this long, but you want them to be a little bit longer because you're going to probably end up tying knots. Um, there are two ways to end this project. Um, you can just tie a simple knot, or what you can do is you can um do triangle on the end, which is a little bit harder. Um, and then your next strand, your super duper long one, um, is gonna be anywhere from seven to ten times the length. Depends on, you know, I really don't know. I mean, mine is about that long because I started counting and I just kept counting. Um, but I couldn't really tell you. I don't know. Um, my mom's gonna laugh at me when she sees this video. She's gonna be like, "Oh my god, your room is such a mess," because like right here is really messy and my bed's not made um she watches all of my videos and it'll be funny because it'll be like in the car and she'll be like oh yeah by the way like I saw some show happens and I'm like <laughs> mother so anyways I just want to say hi to you Care Bear my mommy um her birthday's next week and she looks about 15 years younger than she really is so I'm hoping that one day I look that good too. She also doesn't dye her hair. Um, she has no gray. I really want to look good like you, mommy. Baby presents. Okay, so let's get into our tutorial now. So you want to take your two short strands and just kind of like hold them together. And then take your long strand, size of Canada, and uh, match up the ends, obviously. And then you just want to do your simple overhand granny knot. Um, super, super duper freaking easy. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm having... I say it's easy as I have some difficulties myself. Okay, and pull that super tight. Wow. I lost my touch. Okay, now what you want to do... Um, see how there's like the blue one here, which is my long one, is on the side of this purple and green one? That's exactly what you're looking for. Now I'm just going to pull this a little closer for me. Hi. Um, so now that I've got this super close to me, I'm not even sitting in my bed and it's still shaking. I don't know what I'm doing to it. Actually, I do. Um, so you're going to take your super long strand and you're basically just going to separate your two short strands. Take your long strand, put it over one, under the other. Now you're going to be at the side of it and you're going to wrap it around. Go over, under. Which is a lot more difficult than I was expecting it to be. Hold on, let me try something. Let me go back to my classic little. Wrap it around. Go under, over. Wrap it under. Under, over. So moral of the story is you're just going to kind of... When you get to the one strand, you want to go under it. And then you just want to... Boom. I don't really know how to like describe this. This is one of those stitches that I've never really taught to anyone. So I'm like, what do I do? Um, so here, let's just let's just take a little peeky poo. So see the stitch? You see how it's just kind of like weaving back and forth, and you can see that it's going underneath it. That's all you're gonna do is you're just gonna go under, and then over, and then that stitch, that strand you just went over. You want to go back under, and over one. So. Every time you get to a new strand, you're going to go over than under. Make sense? It's a little bit like braiding. I mean, not really. But, you know. So, I'm just going to keep working on this a little bit. I'm going to show you in a... It wouldn't be a classic boondoggle princess thing. Video? Movie? What is it? If I didn't talk about my life. Um, so, this is my first Boondoggle video in almost a year now. Um, it's been a really long time. I've done other videos and tutorials and things, but this isn't the same. I get a kick out of listening to myself talking when I, like, replay these videos before I put them up on YouTube. I sit there and I, like, listen to them. 
Um, I usually don't really watch them. I just, like, I'll play them in my room while I'm, like, doing something else. And then, like, just to see if, like, if there's no, like, really awkward break in the audio. Because sometimes, like, I'll check my phone or stuff, like, while I'm filming. Um, and I'll usually just, like, edit that out. So, I just wanted to see. Um, now, when you're doing this, you can pull this as tight or as loose as you want. Mine's pretty tight. Um, but I'm also kind of a professional. I mean, come on, let's be serious here. So that's why mine are super tight. Um, they can be loose, though. I mean, you know what? If you like the look of it loose, go ahead and make it loose. Um, this blue I'm using is kind of translucent. Um, and it's kind of cool because, like, you can see the teal and the purple through it. But what I like to do is I either do, um, like, these two colors would be the same. And then this one color would be, like, itself. Because you still kind of, like, you see the color through it, like, See how you can still see the color through it because, like, you're, like, wrapping under and over. Um, usually when I'm doing, like, the three, the double zipper, which I'll do a video on, too, that's how it goes. Um, okay. But, depends. Um, what else was I going to mention? Oh, when I was cutting these strands, I noticed they were super duper freaking sticky. Um... I did talk to a guy at Pepperell about that, um, and he told me that you can unravel your strand, which, yikes, because there's 100 yards on most of these things. You can unravel your entire spool, put it on a baking sheet, and bake it on low heat, um, he said like around like 150 degrees maybe, for like 15 minutes, and it should help with the stickiness. Um, I did try it, and it didn't get rid of the entire thing. Um, but he did send me some new spools, which I was super, super duper excited about. Um, I didn't haul them because they came while I was still at college, but I really, I'm not the hauler. Like, you know, I shop a lot. I am at the mall all the time. I go to the store all the time. I don't know. I mean, like, I guess I kind of haul with my friends, but I'm not a hauler. I also didn't really want to get ready today. Um... I filmed earlier, I filmed that haul today, the same day, um, and I wasn't going to straighten my hair, I wasn't going to put makeup on, I barely had makeup on in that video, I had uh, mascara on, and then I put on um, some lip balm and some eyeliner for this, um, which I not really, but close enough. Um, and what else did I do for this video? Oh, I put some makeup on, like I put some foundation on, just a little bit. It looks really kind of, kind of nastily different colored. I don't really know why. I feel like I went from, well, actually, I do know why. I went from two different climates, so that's what happened. All right, this video is getting super freaking long. All right, you know what? This is good enough. Okay, so there you go. That's where you can see I am. Now I'm just going to tie this off in another knot. And then I will show you how to make it into the triangle ending. There's fireworks. Every time I hear a firework, I think it's like a bullet going off. I don't know. So what you want to do is you want to take that first one. Uh, you know what? Take these. Don't trim these. Just cut the, trim the long one so they're roughly the same size. And then untie it. But as you're untying it, you want to grab the end of the zipper really super freaking tight. Okay, hold on. Let me untie this. Let me challenge. Okay. So now you can see you have the three strands here. Now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to my triangle video so you know how to do triangle. And you, you're you just going to do a triangle stitch. Um, let me just get this started. Alright. And then you're just going to keep doing your triangle. Um, and this will kind of help you, like, end it so you don't have those disgusting-looking knots at the end of it. Um, I know for me, I I always thought the knots were gross, and then the boondoggle man made the comment about, like, you know, oh, like, who wants to have a knot I'm hanging on the end of it? It never occurred to me. Um, and then it, and then I, you know, I asked him kind of, like, how do you, um, how do you, like, end your boondoggle? Like, your zipper. And he was like, well, you, you know, you tie it off like this. Like, you do it, you do, um, triangle, so... That's when it occurred to me. Um, so then you just end your triangle stitch the same way you done the triangle stitch. And it looks like you're done on the one side. And then you just repeat on the other side here. And you're all done. Um, so that was 
great and fabulous. This was a really easy tutorial. Uh, you shouldn't have any problems with this at all, but I know that some of you might, so please feel free to uh, comment below and let me know, and I will do my best to get back to you if I can. Thanks, guys, for watching. Um, yeah, have a great night, and I'll be back soon. Bye.